Let's explain another term called sun. This is the sun of our system, but you can uh, change it. For better understanding the sun, I hope I'll click. I choose in a time a day that a month that we have a small sun. Let's change it not to the night. A month that well, you can change a smaller sun. Where is that? Yeah, here is the sun. In this month, you can see this is our sun. I render it here to see our sun is exactly there. You can interactively render, activate here to see it better, just our sun. Yeah, to see it changes. Going to the sun. And as you can see with the preview color, you cannot, as I said before, because it's just depend on the time and the look. If you want to change the color of sun, you have to activate the custom color. And as you can see, you can change your light color you cannot see here but you have to i will explain it you have to uh, see it on your work intensity it means you can increase or decrease the amount of your sun just i want to explain it uh, uh, here sun uh, size ratio as you can see you can increase or decrease your sun size here just the size as seen intensity, this is what you see in the viewport. Okay. Not in the render. Turn it off. Turn it on. Uh, I mean, uh, what you see in the viewport. You can see. Sun intensity in the viewport. Make it a little down. As you can see, it's fade off. So just as seen intensity, not uh, it does not affect any of rendering. Okay, for other setting, we need the rendering here. Here intensity, as you can see, you can change the power of your sun here. Saturation, warmer or cooler, you can change it. You can change the uh, color of your light with a hue, not directly exact light. Gamma is for lightening or washing out for darkening or lightening your scene i explained it before before here you can change the custom as you can see you can now change the custom color for your light and interesting part is your lens flare you can activate lens flare with your very sun you can see it sun is this this direction you can turn it off to better see that where is this? Oh, this is our sun. No, oh, that's moon. Yeah, this is our sun. Activate lens flare, but it's very uh, small. You have to bring it the flare intensity, as you can see. These are flares, and these are the glow flares. Let's render and what's see. Now, as you can see, this is a glow flare and it's no lens flare. You can activate the intensity of the flare and its glow directly here. And this is a distance scale between your camera and the light. If sometimes you don't, you cannot see your sun, change it. Another interesting part is you can uh, give a simple light to your sun. For example, imagine that in this scene, we insert a simple omni light and we want to introduce this omni light to our sun. Go into physical sky and click and drag it. And as you can see, our omni light go and snap to the sun. And interesting part, you can use a sun as you, and you can access all of the omni lights as a sun. But I don't prefer it because it causes lots of problems for us. You can see the light and go to the trans uh, transform part. As you can see, it's go way up exactly at the sun 
position and sound rotation. Nice. And I don't prefer it clear it. Physical sky is the best. It's own physical sky. And physical sky has an powerful and nice uh, shadow because it is a sun. It has a sun. It's a light source. And as you can see, the shadow are area and density, color, transparency, accuracy, all of these are explained it before in the shadow part. Please refer to them. I don't want to explain. As you can see, we have a nice and accurate shadow in physical sky light. And you can change any shadow, ray tracer, hard, non, if you want it. Okay, this is an sun tab. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.